because <laughs> hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so as you all know i have basically started one piece which is something i obviously never thought i'll be doing in a gajillion years i did mention that i was going to document my one piece journey and that is exactly what i'm doing so this is the second video in the first video i talked about episode one i did say i was going to make another video when i got to episode 10. however i got comments saying that it didn't make any sense i should just do it by arcs instead which i think actually makes a lot of sense obviously if you haven't seen the first video please watch the first video then you can watch this video and also before you continue to watch this video please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're always aware whenever i post a video so now without further ado let's get started so so far i am still in the east blue east blue i am in the east blue saga and I don't know if they are arcs within an, within arcs, but within East Blue there are different story arcs. So I finished two story arcs, which is Roman Stone arc and Orange County arc. Orange County, Orange Town arc. So with Roman Stone arc, we meet Luffy, we meet we meet Kobe, we also meet Nami, but Nami doesn't meet Luffy, and we meet Zoro. We see a glimpse into Luffy's past, so we also meet Shanks and some of his crew. We get to meet, I think, three villains. So those um, Miss Alvida, Alvina, Alvina, or something, and it was Captain Morgan. We also meet the villain, or not a villain, just like a bad guy, in um, in Shanks. Uh, in Luffy's backstory. So we see Luffy meeting Kobe who helps escape Miss Abdivina, Alvida or something. And then um, obviously Nami's a little thief and whatever. Luffy faces off against Captain Morgan and his trash son helps save Zoro. And we get to see Luffy's past, him and Shanks in general, and how Luffy got to eat the devil fruit. So yeah, this arc was a cute little arc. Like, I don't understand why it's just four episodes. I don't know if this is a One Piece thing or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why it's just four episodes long. But it was cute. It was nice to see Luffy's past and why exactly he has the straw hat and stuff. So it was, it was nice to see. I can't really complain much about it. So but anyway, my overall thoughts on those four episodes. Now fast forward, we meet Zoro um in the marine is in marine city or something like that we meet Zoro um and Zoro kind of has that bad boy persona which is like Bon or Bakugo so you're instantly like daddy he is so fine like he's so fine and then we go on to Luffy's backstory at episode four Luffy's backstory was cute, like me and Shanks, like Shanks also is daddy, you know, he can get it. But I feel like I want more, I already know that One Piece do a lot of backstories, like from where I started till now, I think I've seen like four backstories already. So I know I'm definitely gonna see more Shanks. The only thing is I don't like the way Luffy got to eat the devil fruit. He literally had a argument with shanks or not argument that's like a little you know he was like bitch fitting or whatever with shanks you're not my dad you also want to hear something and then he turns around sees the gumu gumu fruit and it eats it i was like is that all <laughs> like where's the pain where's the anger where's the parents dying oh wait that's the wrong anime well at least obviously shanks lost his arm so there's there's that but where's the death i know i'm a bit naruto head I thought that was all what Shonen did, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, someone gotta die for you get this pal, B. In a way, I kind of wanted a bit more to it than him just taking and just eating it, but... I'm not too sure if we will see more on the relationship between Luffy and Shang, but... For now, Luffy and Shang's relationship reminds me of how Gon and Kite's Okite Gon and Kite's relationship were, was portrayed in the anime. Now wait, wait, wait. 
before you come for me, before you come for me, okay? If you read Hunter x Hunter manga and you watch the anime, you would know that the way Gon and Kite or Kite's relationship was shown in the anime, it was almost as though they didn't have a relationship in the first place. They just met and all of a sudden Gon got angry because he got killed. No, no, no. They were very close. Gon and Kite or Kite were very, very much very close. Right now, I don't really understand the... I don't really understand why Luffy rocks so hard for Shanks' hat. It just seems as though Luffy just met Shanks and then all of a sudden, you know, they have a relationship. Hopefully, I do get to see more of that later on down in the anime, but that's what I'm saying. Don't come from my neck. That's really it for the Roman Stone arc. There's not really much to say because not really much went on. We just saw Luffy fight a little bit. We didn't really get to see Zoro fight. We just got to see a little bit of Zoro's personality. So moving on, the next arc was Orange Town arc. Now in this arc, it's centered around this villain called Buggy the Clown who has taken over the orange town and the people have basically left the town because they're scared of a clown. We also meet a dog named Shushu or Choo Choo or something like that. He, we find out about his strong will to protect the his owner's shop. And then finally, Nami meets Luffy and Nami basically joins Luffy's gang, but not for she didn't actually join because she wants to be a pirate or anything. She just wants to join because they go into the same place that she's going to. So, you know, they're in a little entanglement or whatever you want to call it. I'm not gonna lie, this arc really showed me that niggas in One Piece don't know how to dress. Like, they have the worst drip I have ever scene like i mean zora is cute and all with his little do-rag but this this Ew! Dude! what the fuck what did you do where's the drip like where is it whenever people talk about anime characters with the best drip the one piece fandom stays silent because the only people that i see they bring up is duo is it duo flamingo or something like that. Only him. That's the only th only person that people bring up because Zoro's drip is not really a drip. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just a do rag and a shirt and some baggy pants. So I wear that to sleep. Also, in this arc, we find out that Buggy the Clown also has eaten a devil fruit. I'm not going to lie. I used to take the piss out of Luffy for not being able to swim, even though he was a pirate. But after watching the first episode to the well the first arc and then this arc it kind of made sense that okay because he's basically obtained this power he can no longer do a certain thing like he becomes the enemy of the seas and stuff like that so it kind of made sense i i do apologize <laughs> i do apologize to the one piece fandom for taking the piss out of luffy for no reason i'm still not sure about um nami because she's not your typical yandere sundere she's what they call a kanadere well these are characters who are attracted to people with status or money so her goal isn't to have a love interest or anything like her goal is just to get her coin and skedaddle and that's my type of girl get the head get that bread <laughs> but low-key i'm kind of surprised that they didn't have any love interest you know because i would have thought they would have made luffy kind of gawk at nami or something like that i just feel like he belongs to the seas he's married to the seas he's married to the life he's married to the game giving luffy a love interest would be so dumb because that's not his character that's not his personality he does he doesn't care about that he doesn't he doesn't want that luffy's just so cute so i don't really see any characters like fall in love with him, I just see them admiring him and his how strong he is and how admirable he is really, but not a love interest. Zoro hasn't done anything to wow me. He's just he's just daddy at the moment. He's just he just looks good. He's just there for appearances. That's all. So far with those two arcs, Luffy is by far my favorite character in One Piece. So yeah, so in conclusion, really I I like it. I think the only thing I feel like we should just have a backstory on the on the gum gum fruit. But 
it is what it is you know yeah that is it that is literally all i have to say so the next time i'll be back is when i finish the syrup village arc hopefully that'll be very 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 soon because i basically nearly finished it so um i'll give my opinions on that i'm so close to giving my opinions on what i think about that arc right now but i'm not gonna do that I'm gonna wait and then make another video about it and then you guys can see what I think about it because I think it needs its own video. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, let me know if you're watching One Piece currently and you're like about where I'm at. Let me know your thoughts down below. Also, if you're a One Piece old timer, feel free to leave your thoughts down below. I really do appreciate your comments in the last video. So please do let me know what you think. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification down below so you're always aware when I post a video. Thank you everyone for watching. Take care, stay safe. Stay safe.